crypto holders can't believe this is happening. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano. The fast development of the crypto ecosystem presents new opportunities. The IMF has said yet additionally cautioned that the digital currency assets pose monetary stability challenges. Cryptocurrencies are digital or virtual currencies in which encryption techniques are used to regulate the generation of their units and verify the transfer of funds, operating independently of a centralized bank. Hello guys and welcome back to Crypto Channel. Today we'll be discussing and sharing current updates on cryptocurrencies, what's happening in the crypto industry lately, and price updates. Stick with us until the end. Also subscribe to our channel for more daily updates on cryptocurrencies and informative videos like this. So let's get started. The IMF has warned of risks posed to world economies by the developing adoption of cryptocurrencies. As indicated by a report released on Friday, the lender once again cautioned emerging markets and developing economies against cryptoization or the replacement of neighboring currencies with cryptocurrencies. Crypto asset technologies have potential as a tool for faster and cheaper cross-border payments. Despite potential gains, the fast development and increasing adoption of crypto assets also pose monetary stability challenges, the report read. Recent studies conducted by Statista and Finder revealed that the largest adoption of crypto assets on the planet emerged in developing economies. The lowest adopters were recorded in generally advanced economies such as the UK. Furthermore, the US. Massive adoption by these small economies is catalyzed by unsound macroeconomic policies and inefficient payment systems which could be detrimental to them in the unforeseen future. The IMF says a key component of the rise in market capitalization is the increasing investor interest in stable coins. Newer technologies such as Ethereum, other smart agreement blockchains like Cardano and Solana and decentralized finance. Volatility, Insecurity, and Governance Risks The institution noted that the fast development of the market capitalization of cryptocurrencies is largely attributed to increased investor interest in the crypto industry. In April, the market cap almost tripled as it hit an unequaled high of $2.5 trillion before markets plunged by over 40% before very long reaching generally $1.5 trillion in June 2021. The market recently recouped the $2 trillion market cap, which is a 170% gain year to date, sharp development that does not sit well with the IMF. IMF argues that despite this significant appreciation of prices, the returns of non stablecoin crypto assets are less impressive when adjusted for volatility. For example, it notes that the risk-adjusted returns of, for example, Bitcoin in the past year alone are almost identical to the yield of the S&P 500 or the entire technology equities, cautioning that this sort of volatility exposes investors to larger drawdowns with the risk of being liquidated during sharp declines. Operational risks such as system failures or disruption, which have in the past led to the loss of customer funds, are also another challenge. A case in point is El Salvador's Chiva wallet, which has been the subject of various failures due to system overloads necessitating the government to shut it down in the process of compromising the flow of assets. Cryptocurrencies are also at the constant risk of being stolen as the rate of cybercrime in the industry continues to swell. Whereas most of these attacks are targeted on wallets and exchanges, IMF warns that they can also be carried out on consensus algorithms that underpin the operation of blockchains, resulting in even deeper problems. Governance risks arising from the absence of transparency in the issuing and transaction of crypto assets have also resulted in significant investor losses. Despite the fact that losses resulting from the foregoing challenges have not essentially affected worldwide monetary stability as crypto assets continue to develop, the microcriticality of such risks is likely to also surge, with the IMF calling for urgent cross-border cooperation to avert these risks through regulatory and supervisory avenues. The Future of Cryptocurrencies 2021 has been a major year for cryptocurrency, yet what's next? We've seen Bitcoin hit a new untouched high price, regulatory talks with potential to have a large effect on the industry, and more institutional purchases from a significant companies. Meanwhile, people's interest in crypto has skyrocketed this year. It's a hotly debated issue among investors as well as in mainstream society as well thanks to everyone from long-standing investors like Elon Musk to that child from your high school on Facebook. In numerous ways, the first 50% of 2021 has been a breakthrough, says Dave Abner, head of worldwide development at Gemini, a famous cryptocurrency exchange. There's tremendous focus and attention being paid to the crypto industry. Cryptocurrency Regulation Expect continued conversations about cryptocurrency regulation. 
Lawmakers in Washington, D.C. and across the world are attempting to figure out how to establish laws and guidelines to make cryptocurrency safer for investors and less appealing to cyber criminals. Regulation is likely one of the biggest overhangs in the crypto industry globally, says Jeffrey Wang, head of the Americas at Amber Group, a Canada-based crypto finance firm. We would very much welcome clear regulation. China announced in September that all cryptocurrency transactions in the country are illegal, effectively slowing down any crypto-related activities inside Chinese borders. In the U.S., things are less clear. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell has said recently that he has no intention of banning cryptocurrency in the U.S., while Security and Exchange Commission Chairman Gary Ginster has consistently commented on the two of his own agencies and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission's role in policing the industry. Ginzer recently went so far as to say investors are likely to get hurt if stricter regulation is not introduced. Plus, the IRS has an obvious interest in ensuring investors realize how to report virtual currency when they file their taxes. Like most things with cryptocurrency, regulation comes with hurdles. There are different agencies that might have jurisdiction to oversee everything, says Wang, and it differs state by state. Clear regulation would mean the removal of a significant roadblock for cryptocurrency, says Wang, since U.S. firms and investors are operating without clear guidelines now. What new regulation could mean for investors? Recent proposed legislation could make it easier for the IRS to find cases of tax evasion when it comes to the crypto. However, investors should already keep records of any capital gains or losses on their crypto assets. Nevertheless, any new rules may also make it easier for investors to properly report crypto transactions. This is because if the bill passes, exchanges should issue 1099B tax forms with cost basis information to investors. Shehan Chandra Sakara, CPA, head of tax strategy at Cointracker.io, a crypto tax software company, recently told Next Advisor, this will significantly reduce the crypto tax filing burden. Regulatory announcements can also affect the price of cryptocurrency in already volatile markets. Market volatility is the reason investing experts recommend keeping any cryptocurrency investments to less than 5% of your complete portfolio and never invest anything you're not okay with losing. Ultimately, numerous experts believe regulation is something beneficial for the industry. Sensible regulation is a success for everyone, says Ben Weiss, CEO and co-founder of CoinFlip, a cryptocurrency purchasing platform and crypto ATM network. It gives people more confidence in crypto. However, I believe it's something we have to take our time on and we have to get it right. Possible Crypto ETF Approval SEC Chairman Gensler recently hinted that investors may soon have access to a cryptocurrency ETF, which would represent a new and more conventional approach to invest in crypto. A cryptocurrency ETF would permit investors to purchase cryptocurrency directly from traditional investment brokerages that may already have accountants with, like Fidelity or Vanguard. We do it in the equity market. We do it in the bond markets. People may need it here, Gensler said at the Aspen Security Forum earlier this month, while also acknowledging that there have already been filings for crypto ETFs with his agency. ETF approval has been in consideration by the SEC multiple times over the past few years, however, yet none have been greenlighted as in other regions like Canada and the EU. I was expecting that approval would happen before the end of 2021, and I'm still hopeful for that, says Abner. There's obviously many individuals taking a gander at it with all the other regulation that's being introduced. That could potentially slow things down, yet I believe there's a possibility you could see some approval, either towards the end of this year or, if nothing else, early 2022. The Future of Cryptocurrency We can speculate on what value cryptocurrency might have for investors in the coming months and years, and many will, yet the reality is it's still a new and speculative investment, absent a lot of history on which to base predictions. Regardless of what a given expert thinks or says, nobody really knows. That is the reason just invest what you're prepared to lose and stick to more conventional investments for long-haul wealth building. If you somehow happen to wake one morning to find that crypto has been banned by the developed nations and it becomes worthless, would you be okay? Frederick Stanfield, a CFP with LifeWater Wealth Management in Atlanta, Georgia, told Next Advisor recently. Keep your investments small and never put crypto investments above some other monetary goals like saving for retirement and paying off high interest debt. Do like this video. Also, subscribe and share to our crypto channel. Do let us know your thoughts about whether you find cryptocurrencies worth investing or not in the comment section.